Hi, I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats at the Regent Park Film Festival in downtown Toronto. I'm here with actor Richard Chevalo. How does it feel to have your feature film home again here at the Regent Park Film Festival? Um, it feels amazing. Um, one being that um, I actually I'm a product of the whole, um, the housing system too. That you know, I grew up in um, in um, in Ontario housing, or what's now called. I think it's um, I'm not sure what the, the name of it now is, but Ontario housing was the name that we had we had growing up. So it's amazing that um, sort of like it's like coming full circle with the film, you know, and coming back to my roots. And tonight there are so many youth from Regent Park and from the area who've been involved in the educational programs that the festival puts on, who are performing for us tonight. What's it like being here and seeing these kids involved in the community like this? Oh, it's amazing being here because when I was growing up, we didn't have a lot of these opportunities that they have today. So to see that, um, you know, there's a direction for kids to go other than just the streets is, a, is an amazing thing. You know, it gives a lot of kids opportunities and gives them, um, it opens opportunities to, to areas that they normally would never have, you know, access to. So I'm happy. What was it like working with uh, Sud Sutherland on Home Again? I love Sud. Sud Sutherland is an amazing director. I love working with him. I work with him anytime. Um, it was a wonderful experience. Being in Trinidad was wonderful. I love the country. Um, and it was great to be there for a month. Um, the film is well written and I loved it and it's well received. I, uh, the whole experience was amazing for me. And what has it been like? The, the film has done so well. It started at TIFF. It's been nominated for a Directors Guild Award and has been all over the place. What's it like seeing it do so well? I'm really happy. I'm really happy, um, especially for Suds and Jennifer, who produced it. Um, I'm really happy. I'm, I'm happy that the film is doing so well. And one of the things is um, I think it's amazing to see a film that deals with um, predominantly black issues um, and being so well received, you know, because I think minority, I think we, we need to get out there and, and, and minority issues need to be out there and, and our stories need to be told. And I'm happy that it's doing so well because now, at least hopefully if it's doing well, others will see that and then, you know, m more and more minority films will get made. And have you gotten any response personally about deportation and the importance of educating audiences on this important issue? Well, we did ha have a screening for the Black uh, Lawyer Society from Ontario. And, um, and, uh, and the response was amazing. One of the things that we discovered was that it's not really just a black problem. You know, I mean, one of the, I think, you know, I mean, a lot of um, people from South America have the same issue. From anybody, anybody that's a, an immigrant here, um, and is not, doesn't have, as only has a landed status, has, is, a, is um, susceptible to that. So I learned quite a bit, and the experiences, I mean, I, I had some idea, but I had no idea how bad it really was. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations and have a wonderful time here thank at the you festival. Thank you very much. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats at the Regent Park Film Festival in downtown Toronto.